Zero flop. <laughs> Did you guys have this? Yeah, we got the same one, yeah. Was there any spicy? We had the... Welcome back to another episode of Rico Soul Italia Eats. Today we're in Jersey City, New Jersey at one of the world's elite restaurants, Raza's Pizza Artigianale. Don't take my word on it. Some Italian publications have had Raza at ranked as high as number 11 in the world and number two in New Jersey. Let's go inside and take a quick peek. Here we are, Raza's. Some really cool looking bread there. The bread is baked fresh in house every day. The mastermind behind this is a guy by the name of Dan Richard. He is a bread, pizza, and meatball genius. I particularly love his passion. He's always trying to figure things out, trying to make things better. Our first pizza is ready. Let's go outside and check it out. Such a beautiful pie. I can't wait to what do you think? <laughs> what are you thinking? I think it's a beautiful pie and I can't wait to stick my teeth into it. <laughs> here we are back at Rico Solar Tight Eats. And look what we have here, folks. We have a pizza pie from Raza's, Jersey City, New Jersey. And just look at this masterpiece. We got the fungi pie, peoples. And just look, just look at the fungi. This crust looks simply amazing. Look at the undercarriage, look at the leoparding. Oh my, look at the char. Does it get any better than that, folks? We're gonna dig on in and we'll let you know exactly what this tastes like. Bon appetit, peoples, okay? Bon appetit. Raza's. Jersey City, New Jersey. Upon closer inspection, just look how beautiful this pie is. Let me see that crust. Look at the leoparding. Simply beautiful. The aeration there on the side. My wife is gonna dig in. Let's see if she gets a first crispy bite. Look, standing. No flop. Mm. Babe, you gotta try it. Raza, you have done it again, okay? Maybe there's a point. I'm going in for another bite. Here, crunch on the conachone. I said conachone. Oh, you hear that crunch, folks? Did you hear that crunch? Oh my. Oh my. This is how they're doing it at Rises, folks. Just a beautiful pizza pie here. Yeah. Raza voted one of the best pizzerias in the United States. Actually, fifth, top 50. Some, some Italian publications have it rated in the top 50 in the world. So as you can see, this place is the real deal. And just look at that crust, folks. Just look at that crust. It is just simply astonishing. So what's your take? 
This is one of the best mushroom pies, or as they call it, the fun guy I've ever tasted. There you have it. Right from the boss's mouth, peoples. Right from the boss's mouth. Mm -mm -mm. As we go in, we look at this again. This is simply a beautifully stunning pie. Just stunning. This no doubt was one of the prettiest pizzas that I've ever seen. Just look at that char on this pizza. I think psychologically that this pizza convinces you that it's good even before you take your first bite. You heard my wife say it was the best white pizza that she's ever had. Now it's my turn to have some fun. What do you think of that? It's light, it's airy, it's crunchy. Mm. The bread, the crust is phenomenal. Everything you would want in a mushroom pizza. Not particularly my style, but very, very good. Very, very good. Mm. If you were eating this pizza plain, nothing on it, just the crust is worth the price of admission. Just the crust alone. Mm. Crust is second to none. I tell you, this is the real deal crust, folks. This pizza is, whoo. Go ahead, baby, chow down. You can show me in between bites. Mm. First bite crunch. Mm. First bite crunch, folks. Look at the leoparding, it's so beautiful. Yeah. And you can really taste that char, let me tell you. You can really taste the char, the bitterness. And the bitterness is not a bad taste because it goes well with the rest of the pizza. Complements each other, so. Just a beautiful, beautiful creation there. And oh boy, just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. Open it up for me. Those mushrooms are so perfect. Good. Let me hear that crunch on the cone of chone. Some good one. After waiting an hour and 45 minutes to get seated on the inside of the restaurant, we're finally heading in. We're finally in the building. That hour and 45 minutes was certainly worth the wait. Just look at these artisanal gems. And that oven, boy, serving up gems daily. It is rumored, I haven't confirmed this, but it is believed that Raza will make anywhere from 400 to 600 pizzas in a busy day. If that's true, they are definitely one of the busier pizzerias in all of the United States. Uh. Every pie seems to have that artisanal look. They all just look so good and so stunning. Here we are, Raza's. Do you remember earlier in the video when I called this man a bread, pizza, and meatball genius? That's because he is just that. 
a man who takes pride in his craft, one who is passionate about what he's creating and making people happy. This production of his sourdough bread, along with his baguettes, coupled with the innovation of his three in-house made cultured butters, will leave you begging for more. These three different butters are topped with a pinch of sea salt. They have their own distinctive personality and taste. They are simply a creamy delight. Some of the best tasting butter that you'll find anywhere. Then throw in the best meatballs that we've ever had in our lives. Now you can understand just a bit why we waited an hour and 45 minutes to get into this place. They give you six meatballs served with their wonderful homemade gravy top with Pecorino Romano and with a ball of regatta placed right in the middle with a drizzle of olive oil. These meatballs are outrageous as well. They're made with a combination of Raza's Deo sourdough bread that's soaked in their homemade buttermilk, eggs, a combination of pork and beef that's raised right here in New Jersey, then baked in a wood-fired oven. Hands down the best meatballs that I've ever had. And the texture is like something that I've never experienced in a meatball. As you can see, my wife is really enjoying herself with her bread, her butter, and her meatballs. She is having the best of times. She's now gonna place some of her meatball gravy onto her bread takes a bite and gives it the thumbs up. Super, super tender. Not only are these meatballs the most tender meatballs that I've ever had, they also are the most tastiest meatballs that I've ever had. Next, we're moving on to Raza Santo Pizza. This was the tastiest of the three pizzas that we ordered. Served with their Italian sausage, their in-house fresh mozzarella, California tomatoes, and a drizzle of chili oil. And as expected, their crust was on point. Here we are, Rico Solo Tai Eats. And what you're looking at here, Santo here served at Raza's. Look at the char on the crust. The undercarriage. Undercarriage is simply amazing. The Santo Pizza certainly lived up to the hype, for it was all that and then some.
Excellent. So light, so airy. Next, we're moving on to our final pizza of the night, Raza's Margarita Pizza, topped with their in-house made fresh mozzarella, California tomatoes, basil leaves, and extra virgin olive oil. And as you see, there's no flop with this pizza. The crust is consistent, it's good, it's light, it's airy, crispy, everything you want in a crust. As you see, I'm shaking my head. How can a crust be so good and so perfect? Keeping it a buck with my YouTube fam, this was probably the least tastiest of the three pizzas that we had tonight. Finally, my wife had dessert and she opted for a slice of Raza's tiramisu. This certainly capped the night off just perfectly. Perfectly fine looking and tasting tiramisu dessert.
This is gonna wrap up our video and our visit to Raza Pizza Artigianale of Jersey City. We considered their mushroom fungi white pizza pie. We also considered their margarita pizza paella. We also tried their Santo pizza paella. Also super impressed with their homemade meatballs. And finally their delicious tiramisu. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification as well. Comments are encouraged and thanks for watching but most importantly don't forget the Bon Appetit peoples to Bon Appetit.